Oh, hey folks, how are you doing? This is Paul. I've been out here at the uh, field here throwing those same two discs with no wind. We don't have any wind right now. It's completely uh, still. And I wanted to see if the 147 Katana would have an advantage with the winds being low. I think that helps the Katana because it's light. And uh, the 158 is heavier and uh, the weight doesn't really help until you have some kind of supportive winds a, a little bit at least right now we have maybe one mile an hour winds so i made my final throw and it has been extremely close uh, again uh, we were tied at three three uh the katana went up three to one and then it went to three to three and then four to four and then the last set of throws the 158 won and then on this one I think the 158 won again and um, I threw the 158 first and it went extremely deep like the first time I've been able to get a deep throw and I threw the katana and the best I could get was around oh maybe like a 280 foot throw if that because that's not all that deep right there so I'm looking for the 300 foot marker the 300 foot marker is right here so, walking that over, that throw resembles more of a 270-foot effort rather than a, a 280 or something like that. That's 30 feet away, maybe 28 feet. So, that's 273 feet right there. And um, it cannot keep up with that 158 boss. Uh, even in these low wind conditions... I, I just did a massive throw with that uh, 158 gram boss. I threw it low and it did not curve. It held a straight flight the whole way. I don't have video of it because my other camera shut off because my cell phone was low. My tablet was low. But this throw ought to be very, very deep. Uh, I would imagine it's beyond 350 feet. So let's see. It's probably somewhere in here and I can't see it yet. Or maybe it's not quite this far. I don't know. Let's see. I don't see it. But it looked to me like it was not too, too terribly far from the embankment. Now, where the hell did this thing go? There it, you no. Know, is that it over there? Or is that a leaf? I guess that's a leaf. That's a leaf. That's not it. Where the hell did this thing go? Let's look at the embankment. I don't think it made it on the embankment. It looked to me like it was around about 20 feet away. That's what it looked like to me. About 20 feet from the embankment. Maybe I'm wrong. Is that it sitting on the leaves? Is that the rim? Boy, it's weird, isn't it? It's hard to see these discs. That is really strange. Let's see how far this thing went. When I threw it, I threw it from a, a great distance. Is it there? Is that it right there, shining? That looks like a leaf. Boy, that is strange. That's not it, is it? Where is it? Where is the blue disc? Man, it's weird because I've always had this cut low. There it is. It's over there. So it did fly straight and true without a great deal of angle. And it has just ripped up the 300 foot marker. You can forget about 300 feet. 300 feet is right here. Uh, right here. Here's 300 feet. And we'll walk that over and we'll find out. There it is. That's 50 feet, folks. So that's a 350 foot plus throw and I've got 350 feet marked here it may be a foot short of it not much more I'm not sure it's even short of it let's take a look I've got 350 marked here there it is supposedly I think that's not I think that's a little bit more than 350 but regardless that throw is coming out at around 300 and 40 at least let me take a look here and I think that's not correctly marked I think it's 
I don't think that's, um, I think that's more than 350 feet from here. That's a football field right there, folks. And the end zones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. It's about nine feet, if that. So it's a 341-foot throw, according to that marking. I don't believe it. I think that's a little further. The wheel that I bought from Harbor Freight, I don't think that wheel worked very well. So, anyways, folks, that's it. And uh, I'm done with my throws. Uh, take care. I'll be back with the news later today. Have a good day. Bye.